This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualFX.com, and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a particle logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you like my tutorials then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel it would be really appreciated okay so first create a new composition let's call it emitter and I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok okay let's import our logo you can also use text now select this logo and place it into this timeline then make it smaller a little bit now select this logo then right click then choose pre-compose then select move all attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok now select this logo then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool then create a marks something like this then go to marks then set a keyframe on marks path then go to around six seconds then double click on this marks path then change the position to something like this and then change the marks feather amount to 65 perfect okay let's create a new composition and rename it to logo animation then click on ok let's create our background you can choose any color I am going with black now go to project window and select our emitter comp then place it into this timeline then make this layer 3d by clicking here and then turn off visibility of this layer now create a black solid layer so right click new then click on solid rename it to particular then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular this is a third party plugin from red giant you can download this plugin from link in the description box below now select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverter Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverter Elements and start creating today. Then go to emitter and particle per second set it one triple zero triple zero then emitter type set it box then velocity random set it 90 then emitter size set it xyz individual and then uh, emitter size x set it 50 size y set it 50 and size Z set it 50 then again go to emitter type and set it to layer then go to layer emitter 
then uh, layer set it our emitter pump and then layer sampling set it particle bath time and then color rgb uh, layer rgb you just set it rgb particle color now go to particle then per then life per second set it 1.5 life random set it 100 feather set it 25 and then size set it 6 size random set it 100 then uh, go to size over life then click on this preset and choose second preset then opacity random set it 10 then go to opacity over life and then click on preset and then use this last preset perfect now go to shading then shadow let for main set it on shadow let for aux set it on then go to shadow let setting then opacity set it 2 exercise set it 120 perfect now go to physics then gravity set it minus 100 then go to air air resistance set it 1 then windex set it 100 and wind y set it maybe uh, minus 50 then go to turbulence field then effect position set it 150 and then filled in time set it 0 0.3 looks good to me now go to effect and preset window and search for drop shadow then select this effect and apply onto this layer now opacity set it uh, maybe 65 then distance set it 0 and softness set it 62 then again go to effect and preset window and search for curves then select this effect and apply onto this layer then change the RGB curves to something like this perfect now go to project window and select our logo comp then simply place it into this timeline and place it below of our particle layer now go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe now select this effect and apply onto this logo layer and then and then whip angle set it to 70 degree Feather set it 62. Then go to beginning of this animation. Then set a keyframe on transition completion. Then set it 100. Then go to around 6 second. And then transition completion set it 0. Okay, let's uh, ramp view this. looks really awesome
Okay, now go to around 6 seconds, then select our logo comp layer, then press S on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on scale, then go forward few seconds, then scale amount set it 80, then select these two keyframe, then press F9 to make them easy ease, then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. Perfect. Okay, let's create our text. So right click new, then click on text. Now type your text here. Change the color and make it smaller a little bit. Now go to around 6 seconds, then select our text layer, then press P on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on position, then select this keyframe and drag it forward few seconds. And then change the text position to something like this. Now select this two keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve now go to 6 second and then press T on your keyboard then set keyframe on opacity make it 0 then go forward few seconds and opacity set it 100 then select these two keyframes and press f9 to make them easy ease and change the position a little bit perfect our animation is complete press 0 to run to view this I hope you like this tutorial, thank you very much, I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.